hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to violet bass tv i hope you guys are staying safe to all my returning subscribers i say thank you so much for helping me grow this channel and just in case you are seeing this video for the first time please hit on the subscribe button and please don't forget to hit on the notification bell just in case i put up a new video you will get notified thank you so much see eh, my people this our country Nigeria, eh? As the matter they go, so if they pay me for body, if they pay me, I not just come here, come speak English today at all. God, what did they happen? How did Nigeria get to this extent? Where is the leaders? Where is our president? Where are the leaders? Where are they? Seeing people go through this trauma, through the through these pains, are they happy? are they happy or are they not aware they're not they see waiting they go on since yesterday the 20th of october 2020 i'm so heartbroken like i'm heartbroken i'm so emotional right now how can a peaceful protester protesters go out there and they they don't go back home alive what is happening these people are someone's child they had the futures of tomorrow they have family this these people have parents some have brothers some have children what is going on how come nigeria has gone to this extent and even up to this moment our president has nothing to say what is really going on what like what is going on so many videos so many heartbroken videos all over the internet what is going on please lord jesus we need peace Come and restore peace in our country, Nigeria. Come and restore peace, God. That is what we ask for. Have mercy on the nation. Have mercy upon the nation, Nigeria. And to all our politicians, to all our leaders, please, I'm dropping this video for you. Our Cameroon pastors have this to tell you. I don't have any anything much to say, but I want to drop this video so that you guys will hear it from the horse's mouth. Please help me share this video. Help me share. Thank you so much. Here in the wilderness, I want to remind every Nigerian and every African that God loves Nigeria and God loves every other African nation. I am not Nigerian. But I'm speaking for Nigeria this hour. And I'm praying for Nigeria this hour here in the wilderness. I know I've released a word of God already in Nigeria that people are already touched. And people are listening. So the Lord spoke to me. The solution to the Nigerian problem is not going to come from military. It's not going to come from the protests. It's not going to come from the hoodlums. The solution of what is going to take place in Nigeria is confession. The government need to confess that they cannot do it. They cannot solve it. They need to confess of what has been taking place before. The Lord is speaking directly to the body of Christ in Nigeria at this hour. The number one prayer is to pray for God to touch the heart of the government in confession. Because what the Lord has revealed to me is that Boko Haram is raising up an army to take advantage of what is taking place. And so if the government would just confess and say we cannot do it and confess the wrongs that has been taking place god will block that army god will stop the terrorist plans of the enemy don't be mad at the hoodlums i know there are some politicians that have involved with the destruction of what is taking place now to stop the voice of the youth but i know that there are some hoodlums who are doing it on their own because they have nothing to lose my fellow brothers and sisters i love nigeria I'm not Nigerian, I'm Cameroonian, and I love that nation. He has blessed me spiritually. Nigeria is a heart of a spiritual uh, a revival that has been taking place for a long time. The men and women of God, I remind you again, it's not time to pray for peace. It's time for you to allow the sword of vengeance and judgment to walk in the spirit. The angels are already at work. They are doing their work. What you see that's taking place right now, it is from the reflection of the battle that's taking place in heavenly places. Nigeria is about to go through a transformation. They're about to go through a mighty change because I'm seeing a new president rising up that's going to fear God. And that's been the most prayer for most of men and women of God. So it's time for you to watch and see God. Your main prayer is to be praying for the heart of the leaders in Nigeria to confess. They need to confess. Listen, the solution is very simple. As simple as it is, 
that is pregnant, confession, you need to confess that we are wrong and we cannot do it. And then God's angels will walk. This is not a physical thing. This is not a battle of protests or riots or SARS and SARS or, or brutality. Nigeria has been handpicked. It is a great nation. And there are powers that want to destroy it. But let me tell you, you cannot destroy what God wants to build. But before God build, he must destroy the old system. My fellow brothers and sisters, I love Nigeria. And God loves Nigeria. But we must now pray for the heart of the government. The answer is very simple. God's ways are not man's ways. Nigerian government must confess that they cannot solve the problem. Listen, you cannot excrete in the house and cover it with leaves. <laughs> the smell will eventually come out. You, this is not something they can cover. The government thought it was something they can cover because it's happened before. But this one is at the head. It is, I mean, it's a flood. Children of Nigeria, this nation is blessed. I love Nigeria and I'm in the wilderness praying for Nigeria. And God is speaking to me right now to make this video to send out because my voice is being heard concerning Nigeria. It will not be destroyed. But the spiritual kingdom behind the destruction will be destroyed. The Bible says that God roots out, pull down, tear down, then build and plant. Many of you will persecute me, but let, listen, I am not a Nigerian man of God. I'm, I'm a Cameroonian. So if I'm speaking like this, I know what God has spoken to me. I will not come out and speak. Nigeria, the government need to confess. They need to admit. Because if they don't admit, the terrorist groups are going to build up. And this is going to be a combustion of drastic destruction. God has allowed this to show that the virus is manifesting. And I keep speaking. That virus is manifesting. This virus is manifesting in the government. And the only cure is to humility, to confession. People, there's no time to, pick, to, to, to point fingers, Nigerians. It's time for everyone to confess. Lord, we cannot do it. The mercy of God will come. That's the only solution that God will give now. But listen to me. You have been praying for a change. People have been fasting for a change. Do you think God will come in your own way? No. How did God deliver the children of Israel from Egypt? He sent Moses with a rod, with power. So let the angels do their work. It's time for you to pray that the government will confess that they cannot do it. They have to repent. They have to repent. They have to come simple confession because Boko Haram is ready to walk through this thing. People are ready to come and do wonders. My brothers and sisters, the nation Nigeria is going through what is called a spiritual destruction of the demonic kingdoms of the air and of the ground of the sea. And so when this thing is happening, you see the manifestation of riots. You see the man manifestation of destruction. But it might seem as if it's what is taking place forever. But it's just a storm that is passing by. Passing by. So I'm speaking to you again, a voice in the wilderness. With the spirit of John the Baptist upon my head. That the nation of Nigeria is about to go through a mighty transformation. You're about to see the move of God in Nigeria. I love Nigeria and I speak it with so much passion. Nigeria is in my heart and I will speak it again and I wish to see this happen in all of Africa. My fellow Nigerians, I love you and the nation is being loved by God. Let God's work be done. Don't look around you with your physical eyes and conclude God is at work. Many have fasted and prayed. God is at work in your country. You should be rejoicing. Pray for the heart of the leaders to confess. That confession must come out if it doesn't come out an army from the north is going to come and it's, a, it's going to be a spiritual army entering because they need a confession that god is the one who's in charge of nigeria not them nebuchadnezzar confessed and he escaped vengeance pharaoh could not confess vengeance came god cannot allow the nation that is using to bless nations of the world spiritually to be destroyed the hand of the lord it's over Nigeria to destroy and to build. I'm speaking to you right now. A voice from the wilderness. God loves Nigeria. God bless you. And I love Nigeria so much. And I know that God's hand is strong. To God be the glory. Shalom.